my friends, this thing here looks similar to the DJI Mavic and on closer inspection it looks even more like the Eatsheen E58 that I bought for 30 something bucks on Banggood. Replacement parts seem to be very affordable and available. I have replaced the electronics with a very simple Arduino based flight controller so I can fly this thing with my Tyrannus radio. There is a camera on board, but for now I'm just doing a bit of LOS, line of sight flying. Just looking at the thing and piloting it, which is very challenging in the beginning because it's very easy to lose orientation and smack it into a tree. So when you start to learn flying like this, then I recommend to find a flat patch of grass and as soon as you lose orientation, drop the throttle, walk up and try again. I've practiced a bit to fly like this. It's not crazy powerful, but quite a decent climb rate at full throttle. So, even though I enjoy a line of sight flying and I think it's useful, the main purpose of this thing is to fly FPV. So, if you look in the front, I've hacked the hole and put a pilot camera in there that's facing slightly upwards, because if you're flying forwards like this, you need to look upwards to see forwards. At least a little bit, a little bit at an angle, around 20 degrees upward facing. That's how I like my camera for slow copters like this one. If you want to pilot a remote aircraft by using its video feed, then it's very important that the video feed has a low latency. That's why we're using a analog video system. There's no lengthy digital processing going on, so the image what we see, that's what currently with, well, a very few millisecond of delay happens on the copter. The resolution and the contrast of the picture is not very good, and sometimes there's some noise in the picture, but as I said, it has a low latency, that's certainly good enough to fly this thing. Here we go. I'm now flying by only looking at the video feed. Again, I do not recommend to start out flying around the trees like I do in this video here, because you will quickly discover a phenomenon that we call ghost branches, especially in light conditions like this. You fly somewhere and suddenly branches are popping out out of nowhere. Aggressive ghost branches. If you have learned to fly a line of sight and if you've learned to fly FPV with a monitor, then it's quite easy to transition between both of them. If you're close, you can fly a line of sight and you can take off and fly FPV. The image quality looks terrible compared to what you see on a lot of drone footage on YouTube. And the reason for that is because I'm recording an analog downstream. This is not recorded on board of the copter. But what you see right now is the exact video stream that I have been seeing while recording this video. And if you've never experienced flying FPV, let me tell you, your brain can see through all that noise. And when it realizes that this is happening live, it makes you feel like you are actually on board. The whole copter weighs less than 100 gram and the propellers don't really do much harm to anything. So I feel quite safe flying this around indoors when no one is around. But yeah, really, it's 
it's more fun outdoors. Now this is my first video about this Ichin E58 and the main purpose for today is to figure out how many of you are interested in hacking and modding this thing. So if you want to know more about my hacked E58, if you want to see what's going on inside, if you want to build your own, then go down in the comment section, leave me a comment or a question and smash the like button. The more likes and comments I get, the more likely I am to, to sit down and make a detailed build video. So that's it for today. I see you later. And here's some bonus footage for the Low Voltage Club. Thanks for sticking around and watching my videos till the very end. Yeah, out of battery, I guess.